guys, welcome back to Slice of Gaming. I'm the only Pi 3 and 4. This is Mario Kart Double Dash for the Nintendo GameCube, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. So let's be Yoshi. Birdo in the Yoshi car. And we're gonna show off Wario Coliseum. That's right, Wario got an upgrade from his stadium to a whole Coliseum. And as I mentioned before briefly, this is the longest course, or one of the longest courses in the game. Only tied, or it might be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, I can't really remember, to the most famous course of all Mario Kart history, and we will be getting to that in Special Cup. Don't worry, we will. So, as you can see with Wario Coliseum, there are two laps only, just because it is so long. And we got ourselves Yoshi's and Birdo's special item. Once again, there is no difference between Yoshi and Birdo's item, even though they are different color eggs. What the eggs can do, and I've mentioned this before, is that they'll home in on the opponent and they'll release three items from it. So it can be mushrooms, to bombs, to star power, which we've saw lying in the road a few times. Also, we can have, I think, maybe a random Koopa shell that doesn't move in there too, so... You can sometimes pick up something handy if you throw it in front of you. And it doesn't home in on the player if you throw it backwards either. I quite like Yoshi and Birdo's item just because it is homing and you can get a random star power every once in a while. And Yoshi taunts you by sticking his tongue out at you. Appropriate, I suppose. And Birdo honks at you. And I'm sure we all know the infamous story of Birdo. How he or she was a he or she in uh, Super Mario 2, the US version. And in Japan, this character is named Catherine. Strangely enough. So, Nintendo was kind of driven her here to make her a girl and kind of make her, I guess, Yoshi's teammate or Yoshi's girlfriend or something, because you kind of see her with like a big fat freaking diamond ring in Mario Golf. Or him. Once again, we're not 100% sure quite yet. Think of it this way, she has the um, final fight poison complex. Here she is a girl. In Japan, it is a boy. Same with Vivian and Paper Mario the A Thousand Year Door. Boy in Japan, girl over here. Because Nintendo doesn't really like cross-dressers or weirdness like that brought over here. They don't like it, they don't like love like that, it's wrong. It's strange and unusual and people would complain about it if you put that in the game. Also, as you can see, you can either go around the ramp or you can go over it. I just like to go over it as a nice little speed boost. So let's throw the egg, and as you can see, it just kind of rolls on its, own, on its own. It won't break until it... it just will eventually break on its own. It won't break against a wall or anything like that. So here we got a mushroom, but we didn't miss it. Or we didn't hit it, rather. So let's see what the next course is. Dino Dino Jungle or Dino Dino Jungle. Take your pick, it really doesn't matter. Let's go. So this one here, as you can see, the theme is obviously dinosaurs. If you go underneath the foot of that dinosaur, you will be squashed. And there is a shortcut, I guess you could say. Whoa! I didn't hit it. I actually kind of forgot where it was. But there's different routes that you can take on this bridge, one of them being this one here. You'll be the only person, once again, going on this route, so just be careful of items and wow, we're doing amazing in this course so far. Maybe this will be one of my comeback races, it looks like. We might just stick to the main bridge, just because we're kind of special otherwise. And if you hit the geyser, you will kind of go upwards and spin out. It's like the same effect as hitting a bomb or the chain chomp. If you hit his nose as he's moving back and forth, you'll spin out. 
and perhaps off the bridge. You won't go all the way down. You'll be brought back up by Lakitu. So it's not going to be like a major, major detour. Oh, just miss the geyser. Oh, 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 aw. Oh. At least we didn't hit the Koopa shell. That's the important part. I'm taking you. And, uh... I really didn't think that was a good idea. I should have hit them, but I didn't. Let's see if we can make a comeback here. I think we can. We're still strong. We're strong. We're brave. We're noble. It's 50 class. It's 50 class. We've got to catch up. Thank God it's just only 50 class. Hey, mushroom. Star power. Probably should have used this at a better time, but hey, we're almost caught up now. It's just a matter and see if we can catch up to the first players. It looks like they're actually right in front of us. I'm gonna be saving that mushroom. Whoa, what the hell am I doing? I'm drifting the wrong way. Just be getting this item. If you just hit the dinosaur foot, you'll spin out as you saw there. We caught up to the brothers already. Out of the way! We've had this incident before where we, they didn't get out of the way and we know what happened last time. Look guys, we made a comeback. And here is another shortcut we have to have a mushroom for. So if we go across the bridge, speed up, and if we don't have a mushroom, we won't get across that gap. And once again, you'll be the only character going across that shortcut, so once again, be wary of what items you will be using. Because you will be the only ones that will hit them. Oh, Koopa Shell from my random egg. I like throwing the eggs in front of me when I'm in first, just to see if I can get a star power in first place, just because that would be awesome. And we made a comeback of the century. Wow. A minute for the first lap. More than a minute for the first lap. That's kind of sad. Alright, let's see what's next. Bowser's Castle. What Mario Kart game is not complete without... Bowser's Castle. This Bowser Castle I enjoy quite a lot actually. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Especially near the end. There's quite a few different shortcuts and paths you can take. You get hit by the thwomp. Directly hit by the thwomp. It's got the same effect as the dinosaur foot. You will spin out and if you land underneath of it, you will get squashed. If, of course, as you can see, we hit the fireballs get our asses burnt, and I was lucky enough to be spared. Hey Mario, how's it going as you ran into the wall? Good job. By the way. I somehow remember in two-player mode that, uh, I want to call it a fire stick. Only had one stick, not two. Oh, I was just gonna say chain chop alert. Chain chop alert, yes, no, can't decide. And here is one of the shortcuts here, so we have to make sure that the Bowser machine there isn't firing a fireball at the time. And this gives you quite a bit of dif distance, and it's really, really useful. And you can also take a shortcut through the little dirt there if you want to with a mushroom to help you catch up a little bit. Other than that, there's not really much shortcuts in this race, but I just enjoy this one. It's, it's just a fun Bowser's Castle. It's much easier than the Nintendo 64 version, I can tell you that much. Whoa! Look at how far ahead we are. Let's see if we can lap somebody. That'd be fun. And luckily we didn't fall off there. That was a bad idea, throwing that in front of us. And we got a mushroom on the fence that nobody will ever get. Driving along. Also, if you try to go off that landing that was back there and back to the finish line, Lakitu will just come and get you. So we can't shortcut cheaply like that. Not like the Rainbow Road that was in Mario Kart 64. Thanks to that shortcut, we're getting really, really large lead. Well, they're only there. Wow. They're only... They're only there. The items just pass through the item box, so just be careful when you're 
having an item box, you won't be protected at all. Things just go right through like a bad condom. What? Okay, I think, uh... Judging by where we are, I think we're going to be okay. What about you guys? I think we'll be okay for the rest of the race. Like, I know 50 class can be a little bit ridiculous sometimes, but I mean... I, I suppose it's stupidly easy for a reason, but honestly... Sometimes you're just sitting there going, oh man, I know I'm going to be in first for the rest of the race unless I start driving backwards. And if you do start driving backwards, Lakitu will hold a sign in front of your face that says you're going the wrong way. Now let's take this shortcut still, just because we've done so and we didn't fall off, luckily. And I didn't laugh anybody, which makes me a little bit sad, I guess. I wanted to laugh someone. Sad. Mushroom to the finish. Let's see our time distance between us and the second guy. Wow. Almost an entire minute. That's pretty good. Now, out of curiosity, I don't know if you guys keep track of this sort of thing. What is the longest time amount that you've had between yourself and the second player? And last but not least, the infamous Rainbow Road. This Rainbow Road is not as difficult as the first Rainbow Road, which I'm sure many of you know has its legacy of being the hardest Rainbow Road in Mario Kart history. Basically, you're looking at this and you're saying, Pi, there's no railings. Well, there are railings here and there in this Rainbow Road in the Super Nintendo version. No, there, w there was nothing. There was no roads. There was, there was nothing to prevent you from falling off. And it also had thwomps with star power randomly for some unknown reason. It just had that. Whoa. I like the landscape bound down below that you can kind of see everything. I like to pretend that's Mushroom City because that's the only city that's really in this game and I'm pretty sure it is too. We can go up this, which is basically like the cannon in the Donkey Kong Mountain. You can't use your items while you're going up the pipe. Once in a while, the star will come crashing down and will also leave a star power behind that you can pick up and use. I like this Rainbow Road, though. It's fun. It's not too terribly challenging. If you're playing this the first time around, it might be. Excuse me there. Just had to do a quick cough. I liked in the Mario Kart 64 that you can kind of see everybody in the, the background. There'll be constellations of like Bowser and Mario that you can see. Oh, there's a star power I just drove past casually. I'm not even paying attention, I'm just talking about whatever and then all of a sudden, oh look, star power. Be careful at this part because you can just go racing off without even you knowing it. And there is a perfect example right there, but I'm not too terribly concerned, as you can see by our lead. I wonder if there'll be. I wonder if that star power will still be there. You can kind of also take a chance and kind of jump from edge to edge in that. I want to say squiggly part, but that's just too much of a risk, man. And in this Rainbow Road, we can see the different items. So there's the bomb, there's the red shell, we saw the egg coming up the, the tube, star power. Oh, we didn't get that mushroom. There's the mushroom, speaking of, and there's Koopa's shell. Oh, nothing like a nice relaxing race. Oh, oh! Yes! Quick lightning bolt somebody! Please? No? Cheap. Oh, and that star power's gone. Lame. 
Oh! Wow, that was close. Yeah, but, but if we fell off, I'm, I'm not concerned. Once again, looking at our lead, I'm just not concerned. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, ooh, another free star power. All that we missed. We could go back and get it, I guess, but why would that, why would that matter right now? We're almost done the race anyways. And unlike the Mario Kart from the Nintendo 64 days, we can't do a huge shortcut that I'm sure everyone knows about. You can jump off the edge and get way, way far ahead. And this concludes the Special Cup. get a nice fancy trophy. I like how the trophies take different shapes as you win different cups. And after you beat the special cup, you get the credits. And you can actually skip past the credits if you want to. Because technically that's not the end of the game yet. That's right, we've got more. More unlocking to do. What are we at? Oh, we got Bowser Jr.'s car. So, when I come back, we'll be re revisiting this special cup in 100cc, so 